Finger locks basically are finger jams where you put your fingers in the crack, usually thumb down, and then bring your elbow towards the midline, and that locks those fingers against both sides of the crack, allowing you to then pull ideally down. Sometimes you get a finger lock so good that you can hang back on it on a straight arm, chalk up, place a piece of gear. Uh, but the strongest way to use a finger lock is going to be bring that elbow towards the center and pull straight down. In a very thin finger crack, I might go pinky finger down simply because those are my two thinnest fingers and if that's all I can get in there, then that's all I can get in there. That's not a very strong jam. I really need to get my body weight in and hopefully I have something good for my feet. As the crack widens just a little bit, I'm going to turn thumb down and start putting my stronger fingers in. That is a killer finger lock. I am trapping just the first knuckle of my strongest fingers in there, and I can really hang on that knuckle. I could hang straight back on this and chalk up, place a piece of gear, although of course I get the most force if I torque that elbow and pull straight down. As the crack widens a little bit from that perfect first knuckle finger lock, I can start to look for the same thing but with the second knuckle. Lock those knuckles in there. Bring that elbow to the midline. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. You could even hang back on that one and relax on a straight arm if you wanted to. Now as it widens from that perfect finger lock, I would call this rattly fingers. See how there's a little room for my fingers to wiggle in there? I'm not able to simply lock the knuckle. I'm putting the fingers in and I am achieving that finger lock here entirely with torque, bringing my elbow into the midline, locking my fingers against both sides of the crack. And rattly fingers quickly gives way to ring locks where you start tucking that thumb in there, doing anything from this to this. Maybe just pinching in an okay sign or even stacking the thumb with the fingers as the crack gets wider. So here's a ring lock, and that's not a resting size. I can't really hang back on a straight arm. This is a difficult size, and I do need the torque from bringing my elbow in. As ring locks get wider and wider, they do get more secure. And at some point, you're gonna have the option, as the crack continues to widen, of giving up on that ring lock and going to a thin hands jam painful to do it pinky finger down, somewhat better to go thumb down and jam the meaty part of your hand in there. So yeah, ring locks start to overlap with thin hands and then pretty soon you get to everybody's favorite size, perfect hands where you can wedge the whole heel of your hand in there.